Let's start with the composition of relations in matrix form. Suppose R is already R defined by the matrices MR and MS, then the composition of relations R0S or RS is represented by the matrix product of MR and MS. That is M of R0S or R composition S is equal to MRS equal to MR cross product MS. So, where MR and MS are logical matrices, that is, they will be having zeros and ones in the MR and MS matrices. The multiplication of logical matrices is performed as usual except the Boolean arithmetic is used which implies the following rules. So while performing the matrix multiplication you have to make use of these rules that is 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 0 plus 1 equals to 1 and 1 plus 1 equals to 1. So here you have to see that 1 plus 1 is 1 not as 1 0 and 0 0 0 multiplied by 0 is 0, 0 1 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0 multiplied by 1 equal to 0 and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So thing is here you should uh, remember 1 plus 1 is 1 not 0. So now consider two sets a b a equals to a b and b equals to 0 1 2 and c equal to x y and r is a relation between the sets a and b is given by r equal to a0, A2, P1 and S is a relation between B and C given by S equal to 0, X, 0, Y, 1, Y. Now to determine the composition of the relation R and S, we represent the relation by the matrices. So here the row represented represents A, B and column represents 0, 1, 2. So you have an element A0, so here A0 is 1, A2, so A, 2 then b1 so b1 so the number of elements in the relation will be equal to the number of ones in the relation matrix and s equal to 0 x so here uh, b represent that is 0 1 2 as a row indexes and x y represents the column index so 0 x is the first element that is first row first column 0 y is the first row second column and 1 y is the second row second column so now you have got MR and MS. So if you want to perform M of R composition, yes, you have to perform the matrix multiplication with this above rules. So now M of R composition F is S is equal to MR multiplied by MS, which is, uh, so you have to perform the matrix multiplication here. So here, so you, all of you, as you know, it is a matrix multiplication that is a first row, first column, if you multiply and add, you will be getting the first element. First row, second column, if you multiply and add, you will get the second element. Second row, first column, you will be getting the third element. First, uh, second row, last column here, you will be getting this element. So, 1 into 1, 1 plus 0 into 0, 0 plus 1 into 0, 0. So, this is nothing but 1. Then first row, second column, so you will have 1, 1. 1 multiplied by 1, 1 and 0 multiplied by 1 is 0, 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, likewise, you will be getting 1, 1, 0, 1. So, in the roster form, this composition is written as, so here, Ax, this is a Ax, Ay, By. So, this is your composition. So, in your previous normal method also, if you observe, so you have to start from R. So it is A0, 0x. So you will have AX. A0, 0y. So you will have AY. Then A2 and there is no element with the 2. So you will not have any element starting with this. Then B1 and 1y. So you will have BY. So this is how you were doing previously and now you have done with the matrix. Let us see the more exercises. The relation R, yes, on set of real numbers R is defined by S equal to X, Y such that Y is equal to X minus 1. So, whatever is the first element, the second element will be 1 less than the first element. So, find the composition of a relation S square. S square is nothing but S composition S. So, by the definition, the composition S square is a relation given by the property S square is equal to S composition 
yes which is equal to x z such that there exists a y belongs to r such that s re is related with s x is uh, related to y with the s and y is related to z in s so where x s y is equal to x y such that in the first s x uh, uh, y is equal to x minus 1 in when y is uh, related to z in s then y z such that z is equal to y minus 1 so now in place of uh, y you replace by x minus 1 so you will be getting so y equal to x minus one. Uh, you need to solve these by using so now z is equal to y minus 1 y minus 1 is nothing but x minus 1 minus 1 which is equal to x minus 2 so therefore the composition s square is given by s raised to 2 which is x z such that z is equal to x minus 2 so this is how you can find the composition of the relation so similar way you can do the remaining problems also so you can make a note here the composition of relation is not commutative but it is associative next is inverse or converse and complement of a relation so let a b be two non empty sets and r is a relation from set a to set b then inverse or converse of a relation r is denoted by r inverse or r c it is the uh, by inter, uh, interchanging the ordered pairs in the given relation r you are going to get a complement so complement of a relation is represented by r bar so this you can observe c when you write it is inverse or converse or r of minus 1 whereas complement is nothing but r bar so r bar is nothing but a cross b minus r so you know what is a cross b that's the cross product and uh, from that if you subtract the elements of r that is excluding the elements of r from a cross b that forms your r bar that is complement so we'll see some examples given set a equals to abc and uh, r is a relation on a given by a a a c b a c b and s is given by a b b c and c c now find the inverse of r and s so it is given you can observe here the inverse is obtained by interchanging the first and second element of r so r here is a a so if you inverse you will get a a if you inverse a c you will get c a if you interchange b a you will get a b if you interchange cb you will get bc this is your r inverse likewise you can find s inverse next is find the complement of r and s so to find the complement of r i will tell you then similarly you can find the complement of s so r complement is nothing but a cross b minus r so a cross b consists of a a a b a c b a b b b c c a c b c c so now from this cross product exclude the elements of r so that forms your r bar so you will have a b b b b c c a and c c so likewise you can find s bar next is composition r 0 s or r s it is nothing but you start from r and go to s so it is a a a b so you will have a b next a a no other a so this is over then a c and c c so you will have a c next a c with no other c so that's over then b a a b so b b then b a b c so you will have b c b a and a b so you will have b b b a b so you will have b c so i think here b comma c also since you have b a a b b 
B A. Okay, with the uh, A you don't have so this much only. So B A and A B then this is only B A B B then C B B C so C C. So this will be your R S or R composition. Yes. So if you want S composition, I'll start from S. Go to R. So A B and uh, B A. So you will have A A. Then A B and there is no other order pair. It starts with B, so that's over. Then B C and C B. So you will have B B. Then C C and C B. So you should have C B. So this much. Of so likewise, you can compute R inverse composition S inverse. So start from R inverse and go to S inverse. So you will be getting this value. And S inverse composition R inverse, you start from S inverse and go to R inverse. And do the transposition, so you will get this. So now, if you can observe here, for R composition S, if you perform inverse, so you will be getting the ordered pair elements will change. So you will be getting B A, C A, B B, C C. So now what you can observe here is your S inverse composition R inverse is equivalent to R composition S inverse. So these two are same and these two are same. So that's what here it is written. R composition S whole inverse is equal to S inverse composition R inverse. For the relation we start from the left and go towards the right. And you read from left to right. And S composition R inverse. S composition R whole inverse is equal to R inverse composition S inverse. So now you consider this uh, relation on uh, set A. And then find this and show that R composition S whole inverse is equal to S inverse composition R inverse. And this also you can do it. Now using the matrix form. So you are supposed to write the matrix for R. Complement of R. So while writing the matrix for complement. You are just changing zeros to 1. And 1s to. Oh, for R bar. For R bar you will change zeros to 1. And 1s to 0. Then for R complement. This is your R complement. This is your R, uh, this is R complement, this is your R inverse. So, as we have seen, R inverse is nothing but it is uh, by interchanging A and B. So, here you have to perform the transpose of the given matrix to get the matrix for R inverse. R complement is obtained by interchanging zeros and ones in the given matrix, whereas matrix R, M of R inverse or R complement or uh, not complement is converse. It is obtained by writing the transpose of the given matrix. So 0, 1, 0, this column will become row and this column will become the second row and this third column will become the row, third row. So M of R square is nothing but M R multiplied by M R and this we have already seen how to do it. So please do it. Next, uh, when you are required for intersection, so in both the places like uh, R square and R inverse, if you are performing R, you know, R inverse, so wherever both in both, check the corresponding elements, uh, element by element. So if both are one, then only write one, otherwise write zero. So if it is union, so if any one place one is there, write as one. In For intersection, both the places, if you have one, then only you write one. Thank you.